Hey guys, now I literally started watching this particular movie I'm about to review on the Channel 9 app, which is, an, uh, which is a channel here in Australia. It kept on giving me a lot of glitches. So I decided, what the heck, I'll rent this thing. And I found a hidden gem. What movie am I referring to? It is Gifted, which is stars Christopher Evans, Mackenzie Grace, and um, Octavia Spencer. Now, this is very much a... The central character is Mackenzie Grace's Mary, who is a gifted young woman. Gifted young child, I should say. She is a pre... Well, they say year one, but I'm not exactly... I can't really age that. <laughs> um, because they use different systems to what we use. So I'm guessing... Maybe seven or eight, knowing how young Mackenzie was. I'm guessing her character and her act the actor is about the same age. And before the before we pick up the story, her mother died nine years ago. And her brother, Frank, who is played by Chris, decides to take his daughter he's take his niece and go to a completely different state, which I'm assuming is Florida, because they mention later on that that's where they end up. And he teaches her. We don't find out until later on in the story that he was actually an associate professor before his sister um, died committing suicide. This will come up later in the story. And she learns a mathematical formula called Trackenberg's method, which allows her to calculate things very, 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 very quickly without the use of a calculator. And apparently, Frank also knows the method. And Frank decides to send her to school. That is slightly his first mistake. Because that's when she starts going down a little bit of a dark path, let's just say. It, not really dark, but... Her, her, her nana gets involved and wants to use her to for her brain, not for her, not the fact that she is a living, breathing person, but wants to use her brain because she is a child prodigy. Think Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. And, of course, Young Sheldon, which is ironic because Mackenzie Grace was actually on Young Sheldon. And Frank just wants her to live a normal life, well, as normal as possible life with her abilities as a mathematician. Have school. Go to school. Have kids her own age. Her nana, not necessarily. That's where the conflict arises. And I'm not going to go any more into the plot because I want you to find out. I want you to discover this movie. It, it gets into some courtroom drama at one stage where he wants to try, he has to defend him in court, his lifestyle in court, which I think was a very shitty move on his mother's part. <laughs> yes, I'm eating breakfast. Um, I have to say, Mackenzie, Chris, Octavia, and the actor that plays his mum, 
are very, very good. Um, there's a couple of scenes where Mackenzie has to get quite physical with Chris. And I'm just saying, damn, Chris, you let an eight-year-old slap you up. Um, but I think I can see from this young performance of Mackenzie how she got to the position she is today. Doing Young Sheldon, doing Designated Survivor, doing um, the Ghostbusters series. She's about eight or nine when she does this. Using the dates. I can see why she's become such a great actor today. It's funny when I go back to watch movies like this of an actor that I've already been pre pre opposed to at a much older age. It's nice to go back and see that they really have a lot of spark. And my goodness, I can see how Mackenzie is now. Um, it does help that she's got great support around her, Chris, Octavia. Even the actor that plays Bonnie, her teacher, is quite good. But you can see the relationship between um, Frank and Mary feels very, 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 very genuine. And I say that's really good work on the part of Chris and Mackenzie that I can feel their closeness, their love towards each other. That they, um, that they feel like family. Um, I was a little confused at the start when she didn't call him dad, she called him Frank. I thought that was a bit confusing. But it wasn't until we get into the courtroom stuff that I... Found out that it's a, that's actually her uncle, not her dad. And now that makes a lot more sense. It makes the fact that she calls her Frank. Um, that he may just want some alone time. It it makes a little of, a little bit of sense. That makes sense. Um, and the close, the, the, she almost has these two like parental figures in her life. You could say Octavia Spencer's character of, um, I think it's Rowena. And Frank really do balance each other out with the parental side of Mary. Where she's still getting paternal and she's still getting mum and dad sort of love. Even though Rowena actually owns this sort of condo area. Um, the little um, house that Chris lives in with Mackenzie. Um, just technically like his landlord. Um, but she has a sort of relationship where she can call out Chris, Octavia. Um, and the fact that Octavia and Chris had worked with each other on Snowpiercer, which I still, I need to rewatch that movie actually. Um, the fact that they already had sort of a working relationship already, I think fed into um, the 
fed into the characters a lot. Especially her opening scene where she pretty much tells Frank off. She tells Chris off. And only in a way Octavia Spencer can. Um, this one, I'm so buying. I am so buying. Have you sat through the movie Gifted? And please apologize for me eating. It's like it's like 9.30 in the morning. And I decided to rewatch Gifted for the second time. Please forgive me for my eating and drinking. Um, have you sat through Gifted? Please let me know. Please write a, please like, share, and subscribe. Do you want me to find another one of these gems? And I will not ever review Barbie or Oppenheimer. Both movies are not ones that I would want to watch. So, and I shall see you very soon. Ciao.